I want to take a second and look at the places, since we looked at the two sites where it's most likely to locate, either through IC or IG, I want to look at the two places that they're not locating, namely West Salem. I saw two locations, one off of Wallace Road and one way out at the other end of Edgewater as it approaches or turns into Highway 22. Undeveloped, undeveloped area as far as I know. Or are we talking about, is that where the, the uh, gas stations are as you leave West Salem? Um, these areas here, you know, I don't know if the gas station is, is, is included in that or not, um, just off the top of my head, but there are some, some larger sites that are zoned for industrial commercial. So you go around that turn on Highway 22, and that's what this is. I, in essence, what I'm looking at here is, is that from Pringle, Battle Creek, westward, there's hardly anything, and it concentrates all these grow facilities in two locations, Southeast Salem and Northeast Salem. And I know Northeast Salem's had its problems with crime. I'm not trying to deny, you know, that anything, that, that there may be a, a direct link between the, ma the manufacture, the growing of marijuana and crime. But, but um, again, being cautious, I think the more conservative approach would be not to include the IC zone into this at this point. I don't know what it would take to include it down the road staff time or, or does it another ordinance that's got to come before council so if that's it we could look at the six months from now and make a determination and the other thing and i i don't know if it's been done but of the what's what's available in that ic zone right now what's available to to put up somebody on it is it all occupied at this point or is it uh, all vacant at this point i don't know so i think the market's going to determine that i like the more conservative approach of not including including the ic zone